Hello, I am Mr. Ross. In this recording, I will show you how to perform Ohm's law experiment. In this experiment, you will prepare a simple circuit, but this time, instead of light bulb, you will need to use a resistor. You will also use an ammeter and a voltmeter. As an EMF source, you will be given a couple of cells or a power supply. Our power supplies have two channels. The one on the left hand side provides alternating current and the one on the right hand side provides direct current. In our experiment we will be using direct current channel. Resistor is hidden in this blue box and its resistance value is covered with a piece of paper. You should not uncover the paper until the end of experiment. So, how will you connect them together? When you prepare your circuit, you should have a voltmeter and a meter. Don't forget that voltmeter is connected across the component. In this case, we are investigating resistor. So, you should connect voltmeter across the resistor, and this is what we call parallel connection. An ammeter should be on the same line with the component. This is what we call series connection. Before you start, do not forget to arrange your power supply to have maximum value. And cells. If you are given cells, connect all of them one after another to get maximum potential difference in your circuit. Now our circuits are ready and we can start data taking by turning on our switches. When the switch is on, you should read current and potential difference values. Do not forget to write current and potential difference values for every trial. After reading your data, arrange your power supply to have a smaller voltage value. If you are using cells, you can change the potential difference by changing number of cells in every trial. The thing is, to be able to reach a conclusion at the end, you should have at least six different data. Once you have enough data, you can draw a graph. In this experiment, you are supposed to draw potential difference versus current graph. Potential difference will be on vertical axis and current values will be on horizontal axis. That's all. You're ready for the experiment. Good luck.